This is a SOLIDWORKS tutorial showing CFD flow simulation by using an intake manifold from the SOLIDWORKS SAE tutorial. The video will cover the setup and running of a flow analysis as well as the post-processing of these results. Seen here is one of the final results of the study. This shows the velocity at all parts throughout the intake manifold in the form of a flow trajectory. The first step in using flow simulation is to open a new file or open an existing file that you want to run CFD analysis on. Once open, select Tools, Add-ins, and check the box next to SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation. This will launch the add-in and a flow simulation tab will appear in the command manager. The next step in creating an internal flow simulation is closing off all openings. This can be done by selecting the lids icon in the simulation tab. To create a lid, select a planar face and set the thickness of the lid if the desired value is different than the default. Close off all openings in the model. The Check Geometry button can be used before the study is run in order to find any invalid contacts within the model. This tool will also calculate the volume of the fluid that can be contained in the model. Now, a new project can be created by choosing the Project Wizard. The wizard is very useful in setting up all the input data required for the study. These conditions can be set up without using the wizard, but this way it brings it up right from the beginning. Give the project a name and click Next. Here, the units as well as the precision can be modified. The next window allows you to select the type of flow, which in this case is internal, as well as the ability to take other factors into consideration such as gravity. After clicking Next, the fluid or fluids that are being used in the project can be added. Choose the fluid, which in this case is air, and then click Add. The wall conditions on the next page can be left as the default values as well as the initial conditions on the page after that. The Results and Geometry Resolution page lets you specify the size of the mesh that will be created as well as if there is a minimum wall thickness required. Once Finish is clicked, a box will appear around the model. This box is a computational domain and the simulation is solved within these boundaries. Any of the settings that were just modified can be changed if needed by right clicking input data and selecting the desired setting. The next step is to insert boundary conditions. By right clicking boundary conditions and selecting insert, the inlet velocity can be set up. Right click a lid and click select other. Choose the face of the lid that is on the inside of the model and would be touching the fluid. Select the type of inlet or outlet and assign a value for it, which in this case is a velocity inlet with a value of 22 meters per second. The other faces need to be set up with boundary conditions as well. In this case, they are pressure openings at environmental pressure. Goals can be set up for the areas and parameters of interest. For this model, surface goals are created for the volume flow rate of each opening. To insert a new goal, right-click Goals and select Surface Goals. Select the face of interest and then choose the parameter that is desired for that face. Goals are set up for all of the openings. These goals use the internal surface of the lid and measure the volume flow rate through it. The name of these goals can be changed to allow for easier identification when being used and reviewed. Equation-based goals can also be created. The equation goal here sums up the volume flow rate of the output so that it can be compared to the input volume flow rate. At this point, the study can be run. Once the study has finished calculating the results, it can be viewed in a number of different ways. To aid in the viewing of these results, the transparency of the model can be changed by selecting Flow Simulation Display on the Flow Simulation tab, then Transparency. One way to view results is through a cut plot, which is a cross-sectional view of the results and can be inserted by right-clicking cut plots and selecting insert. Choose the plane that will be used in the cross-section. By double-clicking on the legend, the parameters as well as the number of colors in the plot can be changed. Another method of viewing the results is by using a flow trajectory. By right-clicking flow trajectories, and selecting insert, you can specify the parameter of interest as well as the number of points that will be shown.
To view the results of the goals that were set up earlier, right click Goal Plots in the Flow Simulation tree and select Insert. Select all goals and an Excel spreadsheet will be created. Note that the sum of the outlet volume flow rates equals that of the inlet volume flow rate.